So one of the big draws of Unity is you get to publish your game onto many different platforms, including mobile, right? And of course there's iOS and Android, but there's really so many more phone models that you need to test your game on. And what I see a lot of developers do is actually just test the game on their actual device, which is fine, but you're not really gonna be able to test all these different phones unless you buy like 10 different iPhones and a bunch of different Samsungs and the Zune. So Unity actually provides an experimental package where you can use a device simulator. So instead of having this game tab here like we do on desktop what we can do is go to simulator and from here we actually can test our games in the unity editor using a variety of different devices right now this is the google pixel 3 right but i could make this the iphone 11 i could make it the iphone 7 i could make it the samsung galaxy s7 i could try out an ipad air like they, you have all these devices they provide you in this package for you to test and play your game on you can try different rotation settings to see how your game performs when it's landscape versus portrait. And something that's actually really annoying in mobile development is we have something called a safe area. So we can actually toggle this on and you'll see. So this is like the iPhone 12. You can see you have this design at the top, right? But this is gonna have a different resolution than say the Google Pixel 2, right? It just has a different phone layout and they're similar. But the safe area actually gives you some bounds that when you're testing on different devices, you can try and build some consistency in, especially with like menus and things like that. So even though this is an experimental package, I would say it's a must have if you're doing mobile development in Unity these days. It's really, really easy to add as well. You just add a package. So let me show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to know, the device simulator is only available in Unity version 2019.3 and up. So I'm on 2020.3, 2021.3, but as long as you're above 2019.3, you should be fine. So in your Unity editor, to add the device simulator, we need to go to Window, Package Manager, and then depending on what version of Unity you're on, you'll have this drop down in the top left, and you wanna make sure you select Unity Registry. So with default settings, you can actually look around, but you won't find anything called Device Simulator. What we need to do is actually go to this Settings gear here, and go to Advanced Project Settings, It'll open up this window, and if you scroll down, you'll see Enable Preview Packages. And that's because this is a package that's still in development. And now, you'll see we actually have Device Simulator. You could search for it here in the bar if you want. But with Device Simulator selected, we just want to hit Install. It'll take a second, but once it's finished, you now can go into your game view, and without doing anything else, you can immediately go down to Simulator, and you have all of these different devices at your disposal to test your displays and even test your games to a certain extent. You won't have the same experience as actually building it to an actual physical phone, but you know, this is a really, really powerful way of doing mobile development and testing multiple devices, which obviously you can see there's so many, so it can be really hard to nail down your experience on all of them. Just a quick little tip, hopefully it helped you out. Let me know down in the comments if you have any tips for mobile development, but uh, see you in the next one, thanks.